Hey everyone, so in the last uh, lesson we discussed the uh, construction tab and specifically the plans uh, tab. Okay, so the next step inside the construction after we uh, loaded our plan, uh, added the unit of measurement, uh, identified our uh, coordinate system and all of this stuff, the next step is that we have to go to site. And what does site do? Site simply <clears throat> site simply used to uh, do or identify the outline of our building. Okay, so we have to identify for our uh, dialects program the building which we are working with. Okay, so as you can see, we have this plan for dialects Evo. He uh, the program sees this plan as an image and we need to identify for it the uh, boundaries or the outline of our building so you can identify the building by the free um, drawing draw new building with a free line or draw a rectangular uh, or a circular or a polygonal or a uh, anyway, you can, if you have a circular, for example, the building in a circular form, then you use circular. If it is a rectangle, then use a rectangular form. If it is a polygon, such as octagon, hexagon, and so on, you can use all of this feature. But for me, we usually use the uh, free tool, draw new building, to identify the outline or the building contour, okay? So what we are going to do is that we are going here to the outline, the outline of the building, which is starting from here like this, then click, then click, click, click here, then go like this, go down, like here, like this, okay. So you identify the um, outline of the building itself. Okay. Uh, click, click, and so on. Okay. So what you are doing is just we identify the outline of the building itself. Okay, we can neglect, of course, the doors. Um, all of this one line, like this. Take this one here. Okay. Okay. Mm hmm. Like this then go here and here um, one minute okay like here then in the end you go to the first point which you started okay so click on this point like this and you can see you identify the building right now so as you can see, all of this are the points which I selected. This point, this point, this point, and so on. And you can find here each point, it's X and Y with respect to the coordinate system. And you will find the length of each line, the distance between each point and the next point. Here, as you can see, 0 and 0. This one is 0 0.025 and the negative 1.669. So as you can see, the difference between them, the larger difference is 1.669 in the Y axis. Okay. And so on. And if it has a certain angle, it will be shown here. Okay. So in the end, what you are going to do after doing all of this, you will have your own uh, building. You can then... Um, like this click on anywhere so you identify the building which you have now you can say what is that uh, this building which you have identified if it is a floor or anything you can say in this example it's floor number one okay floor one 
you can also add that description for this uh, building and if it is has on height thickness and so on you can add it here and as you can see after we draw with our building you can see that the program automatically goes to the next step which is here story okay story and building construction so if we get back here to site you can see what is the name of this site which we have done here what is the name of this site so this site is known as floor one okay floor one and you can add a description for it if you would like floor one okay now as you can see you will see here the maintenance factor in the lighting design you can see it is taken as 0.8 and we can change it or we can change it when we are designing our lighting system in the next lessons okay you can see also the site alignment what does this do you can see here the time zone of your own location of the building you can also uh, add the longitude latitude of the building north uh, alignment of the building itself and you can choose the location of the building where it exists okay this feature is used for um, the lighting design in case of you if you are depending on the uh, sunlight okay the sunlight itself if you are depending on the sunlight then you are going to take in consideration the uh, location of the building itself so as you can see uh, during the daylight the sun light will go through windows and light our office okay so in this case we will need lower amount of lumineers right however in our design we neglect the sunlight okay we assume that we are designing based on the night okay not you know, uh, not based on the sunlight or the morning but we design based on the night case okay so we will neglect this part if you would like to if you are going to take in consideration the light effect or the sunlight effect then you are going to add the location here okay so we added our building the outlines of our building and you can see the next step here is that we are going to add a room okay rooms we will define the rooms in our uh, building in order to uh, design the lighting for each room so in the next lesson we are going to identify the story and the building construction or drawing the rooms